I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only got one, so you better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad Shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me. Ain't nobody like that. I ain't gonna wait that soft fat. Give me one. How's it going, everybody? I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Welcome back to the channel. And today, we're gonna be talking about how much money it actually costs to build a cheap Jeep. Um, if you go back on the channel, I'll leave the link in the description. We built it for $3,500 to get it out on the trail. Um, but we actually have almost $10,000 in this Jeep. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, how in the world do you have almost $10,000 in this Jeep? And it doesn't even look that good. Um, this build wasn't about looks. I mean, it even still has the, the broken corner light to replace it yet. This Jeep was about putting money in where it counts. And what I mean by that is... If you look underneath this thing, you can see it's more than trail ready. It is more than capable to go off road. Uh, we got one ton steering. We got, you know, gussets all over the front end. We rebuilt the front end, got a locker in the front end, lower control arms, uh, all the good stuff under the front end. You know, this stuff costs money, especially nowadays. It's, uh, you know, 2022 and uh, a lot of stuff has happened in the last few years and caused the price of stuff to go up. You know, the steering kit was $400. Um, all this bracketry in the front end, you can go back and watch the video to that, how we build it. Um, that stuff costs money, and I kind of built some of it myself just to save a little bit of money. But, uh, you know, you got winches, you, you got tires, wheels, lift kits, and you can see the rear end has been built up, shaved, uh, things have been fixed to where it will hold up and we have a lot of money in this eight and a quarter it is disc brake swapped all that good stuff you don't need a whole lot of money to go off road and we've talked about this before on this channel um but i'm tired of seeing comments about how they built their jeep this way and this way one thing about this jeep everything under the front end under the rear end every bolt in the front end every spring is brand new I don't have to worry about anything going bad giving out on me i never bought anything used because i wanted to build this in my backyard to show people that you can do this in your backyard without any special tools and it took me a year to build this cheap not like i had the money to actually build it you know right off hand it took me a year to build it and it came out really really well i'm really impressed with it i'm happy with it and it goes off road great you guys will see videos in the future if you really want to see them uh, i know my trail ride videos don't do very good on youtube but uh we have almost 10 grand in this jeep and it's hard to swallow sometimes because it is an old 2000 model cherokee um but it's very capable and we didn't worry about light bars rock lights stuff on the inside we put the money where it counts and i believe that's where a lot of people make mistakes um i'm very confident in this jeep and i'm very confident that it's going to do off-road stuff very very well so it doesn't matter how much it costs to build the jeep what matters is can you take it off road and, and is it going to take it that's that's what i always have in mind and i'm not worried about looks i'm worried about will it take it when i take it off road and i believe this jeep absolutely will um and I'm sure you could build this thing a lot cheaper, but like I said, we built this Jeep for $3,500, including the price of the Cherokee. Go back and watch that video. We get it lifted off the ground. We put tires and stuff on it, you know, all that good stuff. It gets you off-road and you can drive it to work. But then we had uh, tier two of the build and that's what's sitting behind me. The whole point of this video is, is to use your brain. Don't get caught up in the forms don't get caught up in what people say. Um, come down to reality and build what needs to be built because that's what I done. Because if I were to listen to all the forms, 
technically I built this Jeep against the rules. I broke the rules. Um, you're not supposed to build an eight and a quarter. You're not supposed to build a Dana 30. Um, you're not supposed to run 35s on what I'm doing. So technically I broke the form rules. I don't believe I did though because I have real world, ex real world experience in this stuff and building this stuff. I've been playing with Jeeps for years now and I know what goes wrong with them and I know what needs beefed up on them to last off road around here where I go. It's not like I'm rock crawling, rock bouncing. You know, I'm going out and crime, climbing over rocks and going up some muddy trails and climbing right ways and going in some mud. Um, it's some of the stuff we go go to it's hard but it's not rock bouncing so i built this jeep for my terrain for what i'm going to be doing with it and how i'm going to use it and that's the thing to keep in mind and i believe ten thousand dollars sitting right here is well used because on the outside you can't tell there's ten thousand dollars in it you look under it you can tell there's some money in it I just wanted to make this video and show you guys that spend your money where it counts. Don't worry about what it looks like. And uh, a Jeep's never done. I might have $10,000 in this thing, but it's never done because I want to put armor on it. I want to put body protection in it. I want to do the inside with switches and everything. And I want to put some more lights on it and stuff like that. So the Jeep's not done, but for the channel build, it's pretty much done because we've done absolutely everything that is necessary to off-road i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you look out for different content we're gonna have wrangler content on here we're gonna have off-road content um cherokee content you know there's still a lot of stuff to do um i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet go back and watch all the cheap cherokee build uh, series because it went through a lot of changes. I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty, my friends. Even all the work that we've done to it for off-road, this thing still drives pretty great on the road. Um, it's got very good handling. The road manners are amazing. It's just a little loud in here, that's all.